Hey guys, it's Nina Contento with a new episode of South Jersey Speed. Coming up tonight, we have the Trans Am Series for a weekend of thunder at NJMP. And staff at Echo Dragway take us behind the scenes to show us what it takes to run a premier facility. At SJ Today, we don't just like South Jersey, we love it. We go out every day to find the stories that matter to you and your community and share them on our nightly newscast at 7 and 11 p.m. on Channel 4. Did you know that you can get all the great South Jersey stories in your news feed? Like us on Facebook to see all the news, sports, and weather that affects you. You like South Jersey, we love South Jersey. Like us today on Facebook to keep informed with South Jersey's news. SNJ Today, we are for South Jersey. We have a weekend of thunder here at the New Jersey Motorsports Park and during this event you'll be seeing the Trans Am, F2000, F1600 and Atlantic Series. I'm excited because we'll be specifically covering the Trans Am Series and if you're anything like me, you can't resist the sound of a monster V8 and some genuine American muscle. and he is the reigning champ of the TA2 class within the Trans Am series. What are you guys doing here this weekend? Uh, it's a fantastic weekend for Trans Am. Um, we love coming out to New Jersey Motorsports Park. It's been on the schedule for quite some time. So today we're out here testing. You'll see the guys in the background trying to work on the 34. We call her Marie. Marie. This is uh, the reigning champion car. So it's a Ford Mustang. Uh, the TA2 class is a uh, muscle car war, as we call it. So we've got the Camaros, we've got the Mustangs, we've got the Dodge Challengers all uh, going after it this weekend. <laughs> and he was one of the former owners of the Trans Am series. Tell me how many um, different classes are there. There's TA, which is the 850 horsepower, you know, fastest cars. There's TA2, which is a uh, cost containment kind of class. And TA3 and 4, which are production-based cars. Okay, and how many cars do you typically have running in the series? It depends. We've had as many as 70 some at Mid Ohio a couple years ago, and I'm not sure what the car count is this weekend in the 30s somewhere. You know, it's it's getting late in the season. It's been a long year. A lot of people have crashed lately, and the car counts down a little bit. Today we're out here practicing, okay. so you'll see uh, two practice sessions for our TA2 class. We'll be dialing in the chassis. We'll be doing things, everything from shock adjustments to uh, chassis suspension adjustments, springs, etc. Trying to do everything we can to maximize a lap time, not only for one lap qualifying effort, which we'll do later today, but also for a long run. These are 100 mile races or 70 minutes. Uh, and so you need to make sure the car is able to maintain a, a reasonable pace throughout that duration. Absolutely. Uh, and so last year we actually saw in the heat of the day uh, and the slickness, so it sometimes happens here at New Jersey Motorsports Park, the lap times would drop off during the course of the race. And so right. we ran an incredibly consistent race. Uh, So we ran an incredibly consistent race, and we've been able to uh, we're able to come out on top. Not only does your car need to be in top shape, your body needs to be in top shape, and if they're not equal, one of them's going to throw you off your game. Absolutely, and it's a total package. Everyone asks me, what does it take to be you know be a great team? And I and I just keep pointing back to lap times, and I say, you know, when you drive around a two mile course for a minute and 19 seconds, and your competition is hundredths of a second behind you, and that's a matter of inches over a two mile distance, and so everything has to be perfect, braking shift points, making sure you're not missing a corner by, you know, six inch margins, yeah. right? And so that means the car needs to be right, that means, means I need to be right, uh, otherwise we're uh, we're not as competitive as we need to be. Now, 70 minutes, man, that's a lot. That's a lot on your body, it's very yeah. physical. How do you make it through that? Yeah, so it, the, the cars, as you as you get close to them, you'll notice there's not, not a lot of creature comforts. Uh, and so when, uh, all the big folks at home ask me, uh, what are you listening to on the radio? Or what's the air conditioning you got going out of there? But none of that. This is basically a NASCAR two-frame stock car with a fiberglass body running on a road course. So temperatures inside the cockpit can get 130 to 150 degrees. Uh, so we do have cool suits where we run water through a shirt uh, under our suits. Uh, but, you know, we do have a drink bottle that if it goes under caution, I may be able to reach over and, and grab a quick drink inside the cockpit. But um, 
you know, it, it's incumbent upon all of us to stay in a, a reasonable <laughs> shape because guess what? These guys are working so hard on these cars, not only this weekend, but the weeks and months leading up to these events. Mm -hmm. I can't let these guys down over a 70 minute sprint. <laughs> somebody to get involved with the Trans Am series. The series puts on a phenomenal uh, event, not only at New Jersey Motorsports Park, but across the country. But for me, what I was looking for is how do I join a series, again, that's somewhat cost-contained and also allows me to be able to go against the best in the business. And we've had IndyCar drivers, professional sports car drivers uh, throughout the years uh, join us, and uh, it's been a great place to race. In the 60s, if you've seen the movie American Graffiti, mm -hmm. you know, we had muscle cars and hot rods. And I, I mean, I had a, a Chevelle with a 427 and a Camaro with a small block, and and you had to build the stuff pretty much. The factory didn't, I mean, they, they put big motors in cars, but they went like hell, they didn't stop, they didn't handle all that well. Where today, the cars are really awesome. I mean, I've got a Corvette street car that's awesome. I've got a Mercedes that that is impressive as hell. Um, and you know you can you can buy something better than you could have ever built back in those days. I mean, and, and there's so many great muscle cars today. Some of these cars are so fast. I mean, I had a 12 second street car in the 60s and never lost a drag race. Today you can buy 11 second production cars. You now know? you can buy a 10 second. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say so, the demon out there yeah, now. So I, I mean, it's it's a whole different deal, you know. But you look and, and the old stuff is still pretty classic. Oh yeah, the you know the old cars. yeah the old Mopars and Camaros oh, yeah. and Mustangs and all that stuff. You know, it's 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 cool. Trans Am is Americana. I mean, it, it's always been the, the muscle car deal, you know. And I, I think that's why it, it, it survived for so long. And, and it was up and down. There were peaks and valleys that ebbed and flowed, and just like just like anything does, uh -huh. you know. But the, the people identify with it. They really do because it's, it's the kind of cars that they either have or they aspire to have. That's me. I aspire. I don't have yet, but I. You'll get to there. aspire. Yeah. So I grew up a Mopar girl. So coming out here today and seeing these muscle cars on the track and the sound of those roaring V8s, there's nothing like it. What attracted you to muscle cars? Yeah, well, we're not gonna hold the uh, the Dodge affiliation against you, but uh, as, as a Mustang team, but but uh, it, no, absolutely. I mean, it's American racing at its best. It's door to door. It's uh, it's everything you want. It's a cost effective series in Trans Am. You've got spec engine control units on these cars. You've got spec tires on these cars. This chassis is built by an organization called Mike Cope Racing. That's a NASCAR team out of uh, Clearwater, Florida, and it's a very well cost controlled series. So when you think about the rising costs in motorsports over the last several years and the lack of competitiveness in some of the American sports car series, absolutely it was a place for us to go. It is a tremendous amount of work that goes on in the shop with these guys. Uh, last year we had a 12 race series in Trans Am and just a phenomenal season that uh, actually uh, ended up with a win here at New Jersey last year, which vaulted us towards the championship and wrapped it up in Daytona in November. So we were really happy to do that. You keep mentioning your team and taking care of your car and the maintenance and whatnot. How do you pick a team? Well, you certainly you look for uh, the consistency of performance over time. You've got teams that are within hundreds of a second of each other uh, over wow. a, you know, a minute and 19 second lap time. So it's every little thing makes the difference. And so when I was looking around who I wanted to join, uh, I did a lot of research. I went to a lot of races. I've been racing for over 30 years myself. Wow. So I've got a lot of contacts in the industry. And uh, when I went down, I visited Mike Cope's shop and I met Travis uh, and Jason and all the crew. I knew that, uh, you know, a company that manufactures these chassis and also supports these chassis and does the development engineering on them uh, with partnerships like Ilmore, who does our engines, mm -hmm. like Willwood, who does our brakes, uh, JRI shocks. I mean, it has been, um, it's been a lot of resources that we've been able to bring to the table for this. And, and you need everything you can get when you're racing against these guys. Fortunately, my dad's still involved. He's on the radio with me. Uh, he's a strategist for the races. and. Um, Every step of the way, he, he's been there through my career, so I'm so thankful to be able to do it with him. It's an iconic series. It's got a lot of history in American motorsports, and we're just really proud to represent as the defending champion. How many years has the Trans Am series been running? Find out the answer after the break.
From the boardwalk to our farmland, Atlanta County has a lot to offer. So we need a diverse economy that benefits everyone. And leadership that will make it happen. I'm John Armato. And I'm Vince Mazio. As your assemblyman, we're ready to cut red tape and make it easier on small businesses. And attract new businesses and jobs. And we'll work to curb the skyrocketing property taxes that affect us all. I'm Vince Mazio. And I'm John Armato, and that's our plan. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. What happens when an entire organization builds for the future? Dreams are achieved. Terrasol Energies helps organizations reduce energy costs and increase sustainability with innovative solar power systems. Integrating revolutionary components from SunPower's Helix system, this SunPower commercial dealer provides simply the best. Transform your business with the world's first fully integrated commercial solar solution. Want a new way to connect to great healthcare? Call Inspira and talk to one friendly person, your healthcare concierge. Together you'll find everyone and everything you need at Inspira like specialists who take your insurance, procedures near you, appointments, and answers, and we won't leave you alone on hold. One call, one person, 1-800-INSPIRA. Isn't that wonderful? New Jersey is facing an epidemic fueled by opioid painkillers. We want you to know that recovery from addiction is possible, but you need to know the signs. They can be hard to spot. Social withdrawal, financial problems, irritability. If you see these signs occurring together or suddenly, you may have cause for concern. The signs you spot today could save a loved one tomorrow. Call 844-REACH-NJ or visit reachnj.gov. You know the deal. Trenton takes, North Jersey gets what it wants, and Atlanta County gets the short end of the stick. I'm Colin Bell, and that doesn't work for me. As a prosecutor, I fought crime and corruption. As a freeholder, I held the line on taxes and spending. And now, as your state senator, I'll stand up to the North Jersey politicians for lower property taxes, cheaper prescription drugs, and to protect women's health care. Less politics, more getting things done. Let's get going. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. Not, according to Tony Buffamonti, the Trans Am Series is the oldest running sports car series in North America. Last year they hit their 50 year mark. Another fun fact, the Pontiac Firebird Trans Am actually got its name from the racing series. Stay tuned for another South Jersey Speed trivia question later on in the episode. Now back to the show. We've seen a ton of events here at Atco Dragway, but we've never really showed you guys what it takes to make everything run so smoothly or how the staff here makes everyone so happy. Well, here it is. I need you to zip it. No, I took over everything else in that show. Everything! They, they race their hearts out. 
I feel like that's everybody that comes around here because they know that they're able to do that here because you have such a great staff that will make sure that they're able to focus on that one thing, which is getting down the track, while they focus on everything around them. Uh, they do. The, the, the staff itself, um, NHRA quality, um, guys that come here with professional cars even say how, how great the quality of the track is. Um, June himself, you know, the, the track prep, I mean, it, it is awesome, you know, and for him to take the pride in what he does and, you know, make the cars go down the track the way he does, uh, again, I mean, everybody just loves the way it goes and it's a fast track and uh, sometimes we feel that it's a uh, you know, better than NHRA national event quality. <laughs> you basically need people who know what they're doing, you know, and um, I guess you could say I bring that to the table. Um, we're like an assembly line of cars, and we're running cars down the track, and we, we like to be efficient, basically. Uh -huh. And basically, that's what I do. I coordinate with everyone, make sure everyone's on the same page. I mean, we all do that, basically. It's not just my role, but... Um, it's great to have a team that runs efficiently. Everybody knows their job, everybody knows what they're doing, and uh, we try to have fun while we're doing it. You know, if you can't have fun while you're working, then why be here? We drive six hours to Atco Dragway to race our cars with my family, and uh, we have a good time here, and they're very hospitable the, when we get here. I want everybody to have the best experience, because like I said, I know that there's closer tracks than six hours away, so if somebody wants to come six hours to race here, then that, that means we're doing something right, basically. It's great. I mean, again, um, for people to be traveling that far, they recognize the importance of this track, the quality of the track, the quality of the racing and stuff like that, and they want to be here to be in part of those races. So that's a great feeling to have those people travel that far, and they come from all over the world. My favorite part of Vaco Dragway is my dad and we get to go up in the tower. My favorite part about Echo, Drag Echo Dragway is watching the cars go down the track. My favorite part of Echo Dragway is the race cars. Echo Dragway. The winner of the championship here at Tiverside is Brian Hammerstrand of the Lake Watchers. Watchers. Like watchers. Like My favorite part about Echo Dragway is just watching the cars. Yeah. I love Echo Dragway because I like to see all the fast cars here and go down the track. I love Echo Dragway because um, I like loud motors and fast cars. I love Echo Dragway because we get to go here every week and it's close, really close to our house. It's like um, a bunch of businesses within a business. We have the speed shop that sells a lot of fuel, a lot of VP product. Um, we have the ice cream store. We have a full service bar. We have a concession stand that is just shy of being its own restaurant. It should be. And uh, we have a souvenir shop that is, you know, of one to, uh, you know, one for. Yeah. What's your favorite thing at the concession stand? At the concession stand, I have a lot of favorite things from the cheese steaks to the meatball sandwiches <laughs> to the chili. You know, the you chili. love the chili. I love the chili. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, every, everything is good. Um, sausage and peppers. We do. We do a lot of a lot of salads and wraps and stuff like that. So, you know, it's almost one of them things. If we don't have it, ask for it. Maybe we'll make it for you. And now, ladies and gentlemen. great food, come to Echo Dragway Concession Stand. Elaine makes the best chili in town. Echo Dragway gift shop. We sell t-shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, sweatshirts, pullovers, long t-shirts, and many more. bartender here at the Dragway and here at the Winter Circle we offer a variety of mixed drinks, bottled beer, we have wine, we have food on request, we have everything that you need after you're done racing. Here at the Speed
beach up at Atco, we offer uh, fuel, uh, nitrous, CO2, uh, parts, helmets, seat belts. Uh, we'll change your tires, mount them, balance them, uh, order parts if you need anything. Uh, run the gamut. If we don't have something you need, come to us, we'll order it for you. Um, a happy person. <laughs> good, that's we, a good we, answer. We, we, we like to, uh, we like people to enjoy what they're doing and uh, you know, you have to, it's not so much that you have to click with each other and stuff like that, but you know, you have to, you have to like racing to be here. How many people can ATCO Dragway hold? The answer, after the break. The Christie Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. You know the deal. Trenton takes, North Jersey gets what it wants, and Atlantic County gets the short end of the stick. I'm Colin Bell, and that doesn't work for me. As a prosecutor, I fought crime and corruption. As a freeholder, I held the line on taxes and spending. And now, as your state senator, I'll stand up to the North Jersey politicians for lower property taxes, cheaper prescription drugs, and to protect women's health care. Less politics, more getting things done. Let's get going. Seabrook House has been helping families find the courage to recover from alcoholism, drug addiction, and other compulsive mental disorders for over 42 years. Our programs include the Family Matrix program that allows families to heal and begin to strengthen the family bonds strained by addiction, inpatient rehabilitation, extended care, and outpatient treatments. If you or a loved one is suffering from addiction, please call or visit us online today. Seabrook House, helping families find the courage to recover. New Jersey is facing an epidemic fueled by opioid painkillers. We want you to know that recovery from addiction is possible, but you need to know the signs. They can be hard to spot. Social withdrawal, financial problems, irritability. If you see these signs occurring together or suddenly, you may have cause for concern. 
The signs you spot today could save a loved one tomorrow. Call 844-REACH-NJ or visit reachnj.gov. You know the deal. Trenton takes, North Jersey gets what it wants, and Atlantic County gets the short end of the stick. I'm Colin Bell, and that doesn't work for me. As a prosecutor, I fought crime and corruption. As a freeholder, I held the line on taxes and spending. And now, as your state senator, I'll stand up to the North Jersey politicians for lower property taxes, cheaper prescription drugs, and to protect women's health care. Less politics, more getting things done. Let's get going. Avoid the hassles of oil and propane deliveries in large tanks. It's easy to convert to environmentally friendly natural gas. It's efficient, reliable, clean, and convenient. The least expensive of all heating fuels and is produced in North America. A natural gas heating system typically lasts five years longer than an oil furnace. For heating, hot water, cooking, clothes drying, even for outdoor grilling, pool heating, and fireplaces, there's no better option than natural gas. Call 1-800-822-WARM or visit SouthJerseyGas.com. The Christy Playbook failed New Jersey. Now Kim Guadano wants another try. Billions less in state funds for public schools, driving up property taxes, but billions more in tax breaks for giant corporations, always choosing the wrong side. I'm Phil Murphy. I've learned how to grow and create jobs, and I don't owe the insiders anything. We can build a stronger and fairer economy that works for every New Jersey family. We can't afford four more years of the same old playbook. Dragway's maximum capacity is around 15,000 people. You'll see them getting close to that number during events like the Pan American Nationals and their annual thrill show. The Pan American Nationals can actually see up to 30,000 people throughout the entire weekend. Now here's what's coming up at our South Jersey Speed Race Tracks. On Saturday, October 14th, we have the second annual Cross Racing Shootout at Atco Dragway. The junior dragsters will be racing for two grand. There will also be a junior street race, which is new this year. The entry fee is just $75, which includes a parent. Spectators are $15 for adults and gates open at 9 a.m. Get ready for a frightful time at Atco Dragway. Atco's third annual Halloween Bash is Saturday and Sunday, October 28th and 29th, complete with trunk or treat, live music, pumpkin painting, a costume contest, parade, and a bounce house on Saturday, and racing all day both days. Races will be featuring Pro Dial, 850 Index, 10 Index, 1150 Index, 1250 Index, Big Tire Outlaws, Foot Break Finals, Door Slammer Finals, Atco Nostalgia, and the Index Race of Champions. There's over $25,000 in payouts and prizes. Spectators are $20 on Saturday, $15 on Sunday, and $30 for both days. Kids 5 to 12 are just $1 per day. October 13th through 15th, the National Auto Sports Association October Fun Fest is hitting Thunderbolt Raceway at NJMP. This includes their high performance driving event, sprint races, and time trials. This event will be the last chance for regional points for the time trials and race classes, so make sure you sign up. If you're new to HPDE, you will be assigned an instructor. Head to nasachampionships.com for more information. SCCA South Jersey Region will be at NJMP from October 20th to the 22nd with their Jersey Road Racing Classic. Friday is the performance driving experience and a test day. Then the weekend consists of qualifying races and finals. Event registration is on motorsportsreg.com. 